What is the Prairie View a and Cooperative Extension Program? It's a simple term for an organization that has provided service to the citizens of Texas who have limited access to resources since 1972. We help people meet needs and change lives. We are a well-organized network of professional educators and more than 4,000 trained volunteers. Housed on the campus of Prairie View A&M University, Cooperative Extension Program is part of the land-grant university system. In fact, this year, 2012, also marks the 150th anniversary of the passage of the Morrell Land Grant Act on July 2, 1862, which established new public institutions in each state through the grant of federal lands. The second Morrell Act, enacted in 1890, sought to extend access to higher education by providing additional funds for all land-grant institutions. States that provided a separate land-grant institution for blacks were eligible to receive the funds. These institutions, known today as historically black colleges and universities, were founded or designated the land grant for blacks in each of the then segregated southern states came to be known as the 1890 land grants. Cooperative extension, known as the outreach arm of the university, is not new. The Smith-Lever Act of 1914 established the formal extension system in the United States. However, outreach activities in some historically black colleges and universities predated this establishment by nearly 40 years. As early as 1881, Tuskegee University started outreach activities, organized an extension department in 1889, and conducted its first conference for farmers in 1892. This annual activity continues today. In 1890, Dr. George Washington Carver implemented the legendary results and methods demonstrations using a covered wagon to take information on new agricultural techniques to local farmers. This movable school, the first in the nation, spread rapidly within the United States and continued abroad. It was not until 1972, after several amendments to the Smith-Lever Act of 1914, that 1890 institutions began receiving federal funds for extension work, thus the beginning of the formal Cooperative Extension Program that administered its own funds started at Prairie View A&M University with its first administrator, Mr. Hoover Carden, with programs in youth development, neighborhood improvement, agriculture and home economics, Cooperative Extension forged ahead in 1972 with county staff known as Program Aids helping people to improve their lives in 13 Texas counties. Today the program is in 36 counties. As a part of the university land grant system, we work with the research scientists in Prairie View's Cooperative Agricultural Research Center to find the best ways to deliver information to families, youth, small farm producers and aspiring entrepreneurs. We now have extension agents taking the place of program aides. They work hand in hand with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Providing programs in 4-H and youth development, we empower youth to reach their full potential. Robotics, science, healthy living, and citizenship are the focus of our 4-H clubs. Helping small-scale farmers become profitable and sustaining is the mainstay of our Agriculture and Natural Resources Unit. Our Family and Consumer Sciences component is tackling issues such as bullying, childhood obesity, food safety, health and wellness, and money management to create strong, healthy families. And clients in our Community and Economic Development component are saving their homes, learning to start and maintain their own businesses, developing business plans, and gaining skills in budgeting and loan packaging. Through 40 years of service, our Prairie View a &M University Cooperative Extension Program is still proud to say that our clients view us as a trusted resource and come to us for results. Together, we are continuing to meet needs and change lives. This has been a very good journey looking at the history of the cooperative extension here at Prairie View A&M University. Now it's time for us to move forward, understanding the history, recognizing the past, engaging our communities in the present, and trying to vision for tomorrow. Members of the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences, 
are working diligently to make sure that we provide the services that are needed for limited resource audiences or our limited resource citizens in the state of Texas. The vision that we embrace will lead us to meeting the needs of our citizens and providing the services that will help this state to compete in the global economy. It is our interest then to enhance the economic opportunity, foster academic excellence, and improve the health and well-being of our citizens. So as we depart, I want to ask you to continually visit with us share some ideas that you have with us so that we can serve you the citizens of the great state of texas in a profound way